Dr. Baron here speaking to you from Eswatini, used to be called Swaziland, and I want to bring a mentoring moment uh, from this part of the world. Um, just been ministering in the Southern Africa region um, the past number of maybe 10 days, and I just had something that was burning my heart. We're in a series called The Power Principles of Life. They all begin with the letter P. And what really has been striking my heart during these days has been the power of purpose. Um, I read a quote uh, by Mark Twain. He was such a witty guy. And uh, he said, what are the two most important days of your life? Um, he said, number one is the day that you're born. And he said, number two is the day that you find out why. And finding out why is the, is the most important thing for any one of us during our lifetime. And the Apostle Paul prays in Ephesians chapter 1 and he says, you know, that he prays that the church would have a spirit of wisdom and revelation, the knowledge of him, the eyes of the understanding would be enlightened. Why? That they would know the hope of their calling. And there's a hope in God's heart for each of us, for our calling, for what he has for our future. And uh, discovering that is really, really important. And um, I just want to give a few guidelines as to some of the things that can help you discover that assignment, that calling, that purpose. Uh, number one is what makes you glad. Number two, what makes you sad. And number three, what makes you mad. And those are kind of indications that something just really burns you up, uh, an injustice or something. And it's very often a an indication that God's called you to do something about it, or if it makes you mad, or if it makes you sad, or if it makes you glad. Um, these three areas are really, really important. And I, you know, every one of us is gonna have a different assignment, has gonna have a different purpose. The power of purpose is that it gives us a goal and it turns as, as, we, as we go through our lives into that race that Paul talks about, that we press towards a mark and that a mark is the upward call of, of, of God in Christ Jesus, that, that we lay a hold of that which Christ laid hold of us. And um, I just think of, you know, uh, people that some, for some people it's, a, you know, a ministry like what we have. Some people it's building a business. Some people, you know, like Susanna Wesley, I read her story and she was the 25th child out of 25 kids in her family. And then she had 19 and you know she said her purpose was to raise godly kids and was to instill with them you know an understanding of who god was and i just read her her guidelines for parenting which just are amazing it's a, a good thing to google and susanna wesley raised just two of her children out of the 19 you know one was charles wesley who wrote thousands of hymns that became famous all over the world and then john wesley you know he traveled 80,000 miles on horseback and, and uh, was credited for uh, delivering England out of uh, having a French Revolution like the French had. And he helped to save England in his day and he also brought revival to the West Coast or to the East Coast of the United States, uh, the Great Awakening. And so, you know, all I know is that each of us uh, has a hope of the calling. And um, I just read a scripture here that comes from uh, 2 Timothy 4, where Paul writes to Timothy, he says, But you be watchful in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. And that's what God wants us to do. Uh, there's, a, there's a ministry that God has for us to fulfill. There's a goal that he has, and we just want to uh, press towards that mark, to run the race that God's put before us, and then to cross that finish line and to hear the Lord say, well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful in what I called you to do. So I just think the power of purpose is such an important thing for us to take a hold of and to, blow, and to press towards and to discover um, and also to accomplish and to fulfill, fulfill your ministry. So with that, uh, this mentoring moment here from Southern Africa and Eswatini used to be Swaziland. And I'm just praying God's uh, rich blessings and that you will discover the hope of his calling for your life. So until next time, God bless you.